In an advance that could lead to a new drug treatment for Parkinson's disease, researchers have discovered that blocking a key enzyme in mice can reverse the symptoms of the disease. So now we have uh, some initial data that really supports that, yes, indeed, if you actually block that kinase activity, you can actually prevent uh, degeneration. Reporting in the journal Nature Medicine, a team from Johns Hopkins University found that blocking part of the LARC2 protein, which encodes an enzyme called a kinase, prevented the loss of neurons in the brains of the mice. A kinase, an enzyme, to inhibit an enzyme, that's what pharmaceutical industries really, really love. Now the hunt is on for better drugs that can block the protein. I mean, this is research definitely will provide a, a tremendous uh, push in, uh, in, in an industry and as well as uh, in academia um, the research. that are looking for a better compounds, are looking for more selective compounds and more potent compounds uh, to inhibit the kinase activity. To find new drug candidates, researchers have turned to a variety of genetically engineered animal models, which display many of the same symptoms of Parkinson's disease as found in human patients. You cannot borrow people's brains and say, I want to look at your brain at the cell death when you are still early stage. Uh, you have to have animal models so that you can study the pathogenic pathways. You can test genetically what are the modifiers and uh, you can look at those different cellular dysfunctions. And then finally, you can use animal models for testing drugs. Dr. Lee, for instance, has been developing a transgenic mouse with the LERC2 mutation. To reveal the age-dependent loss of mobility in the animals, he runs the mice through something called an open field test. You pretty much put an animal in a box, open box, and then by their nature they need to explore. So normal ones will go around and uh, the LARC2 mice, they could not move and so they stay in one place. Dr. Lee is also working on rat and primate models of LERC2, but others have turned to a simpler organism, namely the fruit fly. The Drosophila models, the fly models that we've developed and others have developed um, with LERC2 have been quite um, promising, I would say. So we can see uh, some of the same sort of uh, degeneration process in, in the fly. For example, the flies show difficulties in movement and a similar loss of dopamine-producing neurons. Now scientists are actively testing drug candidates in all these different animal models, but to date, no best compound has emerged. So Dr. Yu is screening thousands of chemicals with high-throughput robotic machines. Uh, so hopefully in the uh, uh, near future, I would say within months, we should be able to uh, identify uh, uh, relatively selective compounds um, uh, that will inhibit the kinase uh, activity. Because LERC2 mutations are found in around 2% of people with Parkinson's, the goal is to find a drug that can prevent neuronal death before it happens. Because it's a mutation that you can obviously identify you know, early on, even in someone who doesn't have Parkinson's disease but maybe has Parkinson's in the family, um, you could then maybe identify those individuals, those carriers early on, and if the drug is safe enough, could actually start offering maybe that therapy to us, someone who just carries the mutation, even if they don't have Parkinson's as yet. And with the new discovery from animal models, that goal might not be all that far off. I would at least be optimistic in thinking that in the next couple of years, we could actually have a few clinical uh, candidate drugs ready for clinical testing uh, that target LERC2. For Nature Medicine, I'm Ailey Dolgan.